Hello there. Come in, come in. I don't believe we've met before. Yes, yes. I'll be measuring your first spacesuit today. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been getting a lot of new recruits coming in lately, so I'm fairly busy with a lot of measurements and things. Hmm. Well, congrats on the job and getting into our galactic space system. Mm -hmm. I know it's very tough to get in, so I'm very happy for you. Of course, so get comfortable. We're going to be here for a little bit. Um, we have a lot of detailed measurements to do. Uh, were you given a bit of a rundown on how our suit fitting works here? Kind of? Okay. No worries. Well, I'm first going to go through, get some personal info from you, explain the process of the measuring, uh, what we're going to be measuring, going to ask you a bunch of questions based on uh, some specifications for your spacesuit. And feel free to ask me any questions that you might have. Excellent. So, uh, can I just have the confirmation of your employee ID? Mm-hmm. That is... Here you are. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Could you repeat the last two numbers for me one more time? Seven zero. Excellent. So I've got you here. New recruit. Is this going to be your first um, official uh, mission to space, or have you done some work at other companies before? First official? Yeah, I'd assume so. Well, that's very exciting. I'm sure all your training and hard work has finally paid off. Which uh, mission are you going to be on? We've got kind of the three going on right now. Your galactic one. Okay, very excellent. Very good. So that's the bigger of the ship, uh, spaceships you're going to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a lot of close colleagues who go to that base, and they quite like it, so... Mm -hmm. I think you will, too. Alright. Well, let's go through some questions, some specifications first of your suit, alright? Um, so, some questions that... Uh, oh, that one's not applicable, sorry. <laughs> I have to adjust these based on what station you're going to. Because there's a lot of different work you're going to be doing depending on the station, a lot of different factors. It also affects uh, your ranking. So if you're new, if you're not kind of one of the higher lieutenants or anything in the space team going, you're going to have a different suit uh, specifications, engineering to it, things like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. So, um, <laughs> not that one either. Just give me a moment, sorry. Okay, so for your helmet, do you prefer, uh, and you may not have a specific answer either way, but I'll ask you anyways, do you prefer the very rounded glass uh, shield panel at the front? Or do you prefer one that is rounded, sort of, but it's the ones that are kind of more pointed at the corners there, and then widen, and then point again on the end? Yes, so you have almost the exact same level of visibility between either of them. It's really just whether you want the more vintage uh, completely circular style or the more pointed style. The only difference that this is slightly between them is the slightly pointed ones will help protect from uh, kind of like a light lens flare at the very, very corners of your eyes, of your peripheral vision. 
but I found most people find uh, when giving me feedback that that's not a very big issue for them at all. Mm -hmm. They find it makes a little bit of a difference, but it's more aesthetically. Okay, excellent. We're just going to be jumping around through a lot of questions here. Um, so the only place I don't do very specific measurements is your feet. We'll do a very slight one. But what size a shoe are you with? Like a regular running shoe? A casual like walking shoe? Okay. That's okay. Even if you sometimes are a half size, that's perfectly fine. Not to worry. Do you wear um, a slightly different size when it comes to different types of shoes? Uh, for example, maybe you do cycling, so you wear a very fitted cycling shoe. Um, maybe in sandals in the summer, you wear a much bigger, looser shoe. Mm -hmm. If you have work boots or anything with like a steel toe, do you wear a bigger size? Or is it typically that same size you gave me? Excellent. No, 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 it's not a problem. As much detail as you can give me uh, is really going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. How long have you been doing that for? Oh, very fun. So that is a much more fitted. That's why it's like a full size smaller. Of course. Mm-hmm. So, um, mainly we're measuring your actual spacesuit today, but, um, you have not gotten, uh, your underlayer yet, have you? I'm assuming not, no. Okay. Um, so for that one, that's going to fit kind of the basic, uh, like shirt pant measurements that you've already given us and we have on file for you, which is excellent. So we don't have to worry about measuring that today. But for that, that's more the typical suits that you see all our staff wearing around. Mm -hmm. And so really, uh, would you prefer it in an orange or a blue? There's the two different colors. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Yeah, that's a good color. <laughs> yeah, we used to do the colors. It's been a good couple years ago now and a lot of other space companies would do that for different decades they would have it but now the colors are not based on your ranking it is more so to do with personal preference and then we have all our staff especially if you're a lieutenant um you're higher up your different rankings you'll have like a patch that you're gonna get as well that's gonna kind of show your level and your role more like in the army or something mm -hmm. yes yeah, so there'll be one that goes on your shoulder and then one on kind of the front of your chest almost like a name tag badge mm -hmm. excellent yeah, so i don't directly supply those those are gonna um get sent to uh whoever the corporal of your team is mm -hmm. and then they will provide it for you if not ask them or get them to defer to me and we'll try to get one for you don't worry, that should not be a problem. All right. Mm -hmm. Bones. Okay, um, so just a bit of info for you. I'm sure you may know this from what other people have told you in your training, but I'm gonna give you a bit more detail on it anyways. Uh, so for the spacesuit, um, it's going to be measured about a several sizes or inches wider than um, what you would typically wear in clothing, okay? This is just to uh, be able to layer your warmer clothes as well as your uh, actual just regular spacesuit, which is going to be the orange or blue, based on the color you picked, uh, underneath, all right? And then it's going to give space for there to be the warm layering of the actual material 
of the spacesuit that's going to kind of fit in around and underneath the top layer. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's going to leave room for any of the oxygen breathing devices and mechanics and things that with our suits kind of fit on the back because that's kind of where the strongest point is going to be. So it's going to be kind of if you're mid upper back here up to kind of where your shoulders are, okay? So, um, that is that. Yeah, we're going to measure your helmet as well for today. Your helmet is the same. It's going to sit way farther out on your head because it's resting on kind of shoulder supports, all right? So it's going to fit quite wide to probably about here on you, all right? Right. Um, so I think for you, that's going to be it. Um, a lot more of these questions and things are for, uh, again, those higher up who get more specialized suits or people who are in a very specialized area of uh, these bases who have very specific roles, who therefore need very specific uh, engineering and mechanics within their suit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, do, do, do. Do you, then, did you have any questions for me, dear? Anything at all about um, the fitting or about how um, the whole uh, process is going to work? Hmm. Yes, of course. So, how it works is we're going to do all these measurements today. The suit is then going to be uh, chosen from what we already have, tailored to your measurements of it, and then we're going to go from there and call you back in to do a first try-on. Uh, we do three different try-ons for your suit, so it's a bit of a process, but it, this is your safety equipment essentially, this is your life force, so it's very important to make sure that it fits you correctly, alright? And so with that, uh, you'll have the first try on. We will be remeasuring, readjusting as it's on you, and then go from there and make any changes that need to happen. Um, it'll be about another week, and then we'll have you back in for the second try on. And there we will do very specific measurements. We'll get more of a trial run in, so that's when you're going to actually be wearing the suit in the training facility. We'll be doing um, different movements with the ropes, different things like that. Just even getting you running and walking around. We'll have you in the anti, uh, anti-gravity anti room to practice, you know, if you're on areas where you need to be moving and bouncing and flowing in a way that's more how you're going to be uh, in space. We're going to be doing that as well. All right. And then from there, after we take all that data any feedback from yourself, then we will go in, make those final adjustments, and do a final regular try-on again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some people will have to have like a fourth try-on, but I would say here uh, on the measuring suit fitting team, we're very specialized and we kind of know now exactly how to fit people really well. To the point where, not to toot our own horns, but I would say that we could almost do it in one session, but for safety standards, we obviously do the three different ones. All right. Any other questions here? No. Excellent. Well, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to get started on that measuring. So I've got my fantastic measuring tape here. It has a total of, let me see here, it's 60 inches in total. So this should be more than enough to get your height, uh, the different measurements around your arms, things like that. Uh, please let me know as you are gonna have to stand for this whole process. If you get too tired, need a break, we can do that for sure. Just let me know. Uh, I'll also be periodically pausing the measuring to take some notes. So we're going to begin uh, and go talk 
down, if that's all right. As your more complicated measurements are kind of the upper part of your body, and then as we get down to your legs and your feet, it's quite simple and quite quick, at least for this first measuring set. All right, so please stand as straight as possible, but in your normal stance, how you think you're gonna hold yourself or how you have kind of held your upper posture in training, all right? Uh, and I'll get you to keep your head straight for now, but I will be having you bend and move it in certain ways in a moment. So first, I'm gonna do the actual size of your head here. All right. I apologize if I'm very close to you. If I touch your head or anything a little bit. Try not to. <laughs> go. A little bit more there. Is that tight or does it feel like it's just fitted enough? A little tight. Okay. A little looser. How's that? Good. Good. Okay. 30. Okay. That is the first actual measurement of the circumference of your head. But now I'm going to double that size for the helmet, all right? I'm sorry if I'm awkwardly reaching or anything. So it's gonna sit about here, if you can see. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it seems strange with the measurements right now, but once you actually have the suit on, it's gonna feel a lot more intuitive, a lot better for you. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna sit much more naturally once you actually have the suit on. Right? So that is that. Double the size is 46 inches. Okay. Excellent. Good. Uh, now, if it's okay, I'm going to have you lean forward and I'm just going to measure the circumference of the top of your head. So it's going to be almost the same measurement as what you had before. Alright? Beautiful. Thank you. Alright. Right there. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm measure it one more time again. Right. Excellent. Thank you, dear. Put your head back up. Good. What else? Um, if you could turn, I'm going to have you turn both ways. Again, standing uh, as you naturally do. I'm going to be measuring from your ear to kind of the base of your shoulder where it meets your neck. Left, please. Thank you. Good. Excellent. I'm going to take it one time just to double check. Good. All right. Yes. To the right. Thank you. Assuming your measurements are going to be pretty similar. No one has a perfectly symmetrical uh, shape or proportions. No need to be sure. Yes, like I said, everything is quite technical. Some of these measurements are just extra little changes to have on file, but most of them are very, very important to the actual shape of your suit. Good, okay, so you're fairly equal on both sides, and around uh, six inches. You have, um, which a lot of people do, I think from stretching, maybe sleeping on one side a lot, or maybe looking down at their work or a phone, um, you've got a little bit of a shorter side on, oh, sorry, your left side. It's like 0.2 of a centimeter shorter than your other side. So uh, it's often that you're probably... Uh, leaning on this side a little bit more, so it's just that that muscle is like the tiniest bit closer in. It's not anything drastic that'd be a worry, but something to be aware of. Um, and then finally, for your head measurement, I'm going to have you turn around if that's okay. Just face the back wall there. Good, and I'm just going to be measuring 
the back of your head. So first I'm going to do from the top of your head, good, to the base of your neck. Good, so that's one, two, three. Good, and then I'm going to do from kind of the back base of your neck at the base of your skull to the base of your neck between your shoulders. final measurement for your head. I'm going to be measuring the extra height that's going to be uh, what the helmet is going to have, all right? So again, it's always roughly about double what we're going to go with. So from the base of your neck to the actual height of where the top of the helmet is going to be, all right? Base of the neck to the top where the actual helmet is going to be. Excellent. Good. Give me a moment here to take those measurements before I forget them. Doing this for a long time, so I can kind of memorize numbers pretty well at this point. <laughs> Makes the process a lot quicker. So, my dear, next we're going to be doing your upper body, all right, um, as well as your torso to where about your hips are, right? Doing across from shoulder to shoulder, like your chest, your back, kind of the height and width of your torso, and your width around. Okay. So let's start with the upper, upper body, from shoulder to shoulder, again, standing, as you normally would, you're not slouching, but not holding your body too stiffly. You'll be doing a lot of movement in this suit, which that will be where the second measurement testing is going to come in, to make sure that you can move very well and complete all your tasks in that suit. Good. Um, and going from the base of your shoulder to, oh sorry, base of your shoulder more so here, to kind of where your lower armpit is, all right? Good. Excellent. Other side, be about the same. No? There's almost half an inch of difference between that height there and that height there. Did you have an injury in the past or has it always been like that? Oh, that will do it. Yeah. Yeah, I had a cousin who did that and there, um, theirs is much more visibly uh, noticeable than yours. So, yeah. Yeah, it was a work accident, unfortunately. Fortunately, uh, they were able to get, you know, compensation for that, but mm, fortunate that it had to happen. Oh, okay, when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of dumb when we're kids, aren't we? <laughs> we kind of put ourselves into more dangerous or possibly uh, 
injury inducing <laughs> situations so we don't take care of our bodies and our joints as well as we should you know so now I'm going to be measuring uh continuing on kind of from the sides of your chest right right good good one more excellent uh, now, if I could just quickly have you turn around, again, facing the wall at the back there, thank you. You're measuring your shoulder on the left to your shoulder on the right. Good. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Slight difference here, but nothing too worrisome. Mm -hmm. Very reflective of the injury you were telling me about. Excellent. Now while we're here, I'm going to get the measurement of your back. So I'm going to be measuring from the base of your neck here to the kind of base of um, your lower us. All right. Kind of where the center of your hips are. Okay. And taking that measurement from in between your shoulders, a little bit lower there, to again the base of your back here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Everything seems perfect there. Uh, I think I'm done with your back, so I'll have you turn back around. Thank you. Now I'm going to be doing finally the circumference of your body, so we're going to be again similar to your head, doing a circumference of your actual hips and torso and chest, and then doing the double length of that for the suit. Okay, so let's do chest first. Oops, sorry. Right around, I'm gonna turn around so that... Good. And finally, around your hips, dear. Lower right here. How is that? Comfortable. Good. All right. Let's get the front of your thing. Okay. And then lastly, double length again. Yeah, your torso of the suit is going to be, sorry for my reach again, the widest part of your whole suit, which is simply just due to um, your core holding the most heat, and so that's where a lot of the heat padding does have to go. As usual, I'm going to take a few more measurements here, and then we'll move on to... Um, we just have your limbs and your height left to do. All right. Okay, All right, my dear, so now we move on to the easier measurements. And the last of what we'll need to measure for at least today. Yeah, so there's gonna be even more specific measurements and things that we'll do in later fittings. We're just trying to get the general body and shape of you and how you're gonna fit in your suit right now. Mm -hmm. So next, the arms. 
you could give me your right arm. Thank you. I'm going to need you to first put it like straight, kind of equal, parallel to your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Good. Tip of your shoulder to the very end of your finger here. Good. And yeah, left side. Good. Again, you've got like a point zero three difference here, but that could more so do also with your fingers or with the injury on that shoulder chest section. Mm -hmm. All right, um, actually keep this one up for me. I'm just gonna measure your hand from your wrist here to the tip of your finger. You might as well do the hands with the gloves as we're here. A little bit less there, good. Okay, now I'm gonna measure from kind of your knuckles to your highest finger of your middle finger here, okay? Yeah, just keep it straight like that, thank you. Excellent. Now I'm gonna get the circumference of your arm. The general shape, yeah, keep it straight. Good, and then we're gonna double it. Good. And then I'm gonna get you to put your arm straight up, like you're reaching up. To ask a question, measuring from your armpit to good the tip of your finger again. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and then you can put your one down there, and I'm gonna get from in your natural stance with your arm just gently by your side. One last measurement of your shoulder to the tip of your. Apologize if I'm moving a little faster. I just don't want to keep you here too long. I feel like I've held you up long enough. I'm sure you have lots of things going on. Lots of training to still do. Mm -hmm. So we're going to finish those measurements from the left on the right, okay? So arm straight up to the ceiling, armpit to the tip of your finger. Good. What else is on the docket for today? Okay, yeah, so finishing. Some, some boring paperwork, mm hmm Good, and down straight by your side, thank you. Yeah, is that for the mission itself, or is that for your integration into the company? Oh, I see, mm hmm Well, I guess that's more exciting paperwork than general things, mm hmm Good, and then arm straight out again, gonna get those hand measurements while we're here. Circumference of your wrist here. Good. And double. Do you have a lot more preparation before this next mission? Hmm. Because you're being sent out with some of the other newbies as well, right? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm going to take measurements of your hand length now. Keep it straight. Yeah. So how long are you going to be up there then for? Mm, yeah, it's a pretty standard amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least they're not sending you up there on a longer stay for your first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know some of the people who've been here a while are up there for almost a year at a time, really. It's a lot, for sure. Okay, that is all the arm measurements here. You can put that one back down. Thank you. Now moving on, finally, to your legs, okay? Um, so just again, standing straight, you know, you don't need to stand at ease or intensely straight. I want you to make sure that you're not holding too much tension in your lower body exactly. We're going to start with the right side here. Sorry if I'm crouching beside you. I'm just going to get from your hip to the ground. Good. And then the side of your hip to your ankle. Excellent. 
And then I'm gonna take a measurement of your foot, even though we do have your size, I just wanna make sure that you're wearing the correct size and we'll have the correct size for you. I'll just keep it flat, don't feel like moving it. Just measuring from the back of your ankle to the tip of your toe, your big toe. Good. How are your legs feeling standing there? I know it's a lot. Yeah. Oh, I bet. I would too. Well, we're almost done, so let me get these last leg measurements for you. Good. Um, you actually have very equal feet, so, or sorry, equal uh, lengths of your legs. So. No injuries there, I'm assuming. Good. And then measuring on the side. Down here. Two. Okay. And the measurement here, and then we'll be done. This is your foot length. Your one. Excuse me, sorry. So your one left foot, apologies, is actually like a little bit shorter than your right. Have you ever noticed that before? Okay. Mm, I see. Right, well, at least now you know. I'm gonna let you go in about a moment here. Just let me finish these last. Let me just do a final check of you, dear, if that's okay. Make sure I got all the measurements, all the head measurements, your torso, your arms, your legs. Oh, my goodness, I don't know if I got it, so I'm going to retake it again. I didn't get your whole body measurement in terms of your total height. Yeah, that's so helpful. That's a pretty <laughs> important measurement. All right, straight again, as you would, from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Good. Could you um, stand as straight as possible now for me? Okay. And then just could you slouch for me a little bit? Like you've had a long day or watching a movie on the couch. Good. Yeah, that's not much better. Okay. And now, dear, finally, I'm going to add, do your full measurement with uh, about three, four inches to be safe added to the top for your helmet and your boots and everything. Yeah, be a little bit taller. <laughs> okay, perfect. Glad we got that done. All right, final ones here. Well, my dear, thank you for standing so still and following along with my instructions very well. Yes, well, it's great to meet you too. Uh, welcome again to the company. 
I'm so happy that you're going to be working with us, and I will give you a call in about a week when we've got your suit ready for the second fitting. All right. Well, good luck with the rest of your training and getting ready for your first mission. Take care. All right. See you later.